We have begun our final descent into Los Angeles. Current weather right now in Los Angeles. Winds are 250 at 15, 10 statute miles. Broken clouds 2,300. Temperature 18, dew point 12. Altimeter 299 or 3. We have the altimeter set up. Uh, Minimum is 200 feet. Radio altimeter flap 30. VROF is 143. Landing runway 24 right. Auto brake 2. We're going to shoot for Alpha Alpha as our turnoff. Uh, as noted in part 1, I had to turn traffic off. Orbix SoCal plus Aerosoft US Cities Los Angeles plus 777 plus the terribly running FS Dream Team Los Angeles. Uh, all those thrown together, it's going to impact performance. So I had to turn traffic off. It's usually okay if I'm not recording, but on top of recording and all that stuff uh, being just loaded in, it ends up uh, really killing the frames, if you will. I am like so excited for Imagine Sim Los Angeles. That needs to come out, please, like quickly. I cannot stand FS Dream Team Los Angeles anymore. It runs so poorly. Their sceneries are just so poorly optimized in every way, shape, and form. Maybe some of their newer stuff isn't that bad. Uh, Memphis kind of is just meh for me. Charlotte's meh. It could be so much better. As you can see, uh, we have Ontario just up in front of us here. That's a really nice freeware Ontario. You can find that on... Well, it's not loaded in right now. Uh, you could find it on uh, Avsim. And it's a really solid Ontario. Custom buildings. There's custom ground textures and everything. We're just so far away, it's not uh, currently loaded into the sim. Actually, you know what? I don't even think it's loaded. Well, yeah, it is, because there's all that there. So it will load in here in just a second. Actually, I thought I saw it just start. Yeah, you see it's starting to pop in. There it goes. So coming through 13,000 feet, we're slowing back to 270 knots. On this arrival, we really need to make sure our, our uh, energy management is good. At least on the 7.3, it's very easy to come in a little high and a little fast, and the 7.3, as you know, does not and will not descend and slow down at the same time. So I'm really going to be watching that just to make sure that we are, uh, we're not coming in too high or too fast right now. It's trying to do 270 knots. I'm not going to throw the speed brakes out yet. Well, that speed is kind of just staying. Okay, I'm going to throw a little bit of speed brakes. Just a real little amount. As you can see, that's bringing the speed down a little bit. I'm waiting for the throttles. Yeah, the throttles are starting to come up. Speed brakes are back down. Just checking all the checklists are complete. Orbix SoCal looks awesome. It's too bad it just is such a frame killer. I don't know if it's Orbix SoCal as much as it is just FS Dream Team LA. I like blaming FS Dream Team quite a bit. Just because I think they could do better as a company in terms of their products and whatnot. Their customer service sucks. Now we're probably going to need some speed brakes. Again, not a whole lot, just enough to help it get down to 240 knots. Lowest altitude is 2,200 feet. We have that set. Slowing back to 240 knots at 240 knots. I guess I could go flaps one just to get some slats out. We just got the notification that the cabin is ready. 
I'm going to slow back to 230 knots as we continue the descent. Put this on approach. The glide slope path should be coming in. If anything, I think we should be right on it. I know that's not technically the glide slope yet. It should be coming in soon, though. As you can see, we have the localizer all set up. Just inside, 15 miles to touchdown. Let's reduce speed to 210 knots. Oh, look at those frames. That's how you know this scenery is really, really, really rough. Plus SoCal. I'm still convinced SoCal is, has a lot to do with this, too. But an i9 and a 1080 Ti, and those are the frames I get. Let's, geez, it's so terrible. Let's get some speed brakes up. Flops five. Speed's coming back even further to 200 knots. Nice. That's a nice stutter. Coming back to 200 quite nicely. We're going to keep it going to, let's say, 190. Coming up on 2,200 feet, the glide slope should be capturing here as well. That's checked. Seven miles to touchdown. Missed approach altitude is 2,000. Glide slope is captured. Flaps 15. Oh, let's get those speed brakes up too. Keep bringing the speed back to, we'll do 148. Why is the speed? Oh, it's fine. Gear down, flap 20. Speed brakes are armed. Let me get that checklist out. Taking the auto throttles out. I did not do a good job of energy management, as you can see. We can go flap 20, 25 actually. Hopefully this should bring it back. I just need to get to 180 knots. 1,000. That's checked. This is what I was talking about, energy management. I lost it at the end there. Flap 30. I don't know what Americans thing is. Southwest, that would be a go around, but it might have been 500 feet as long as you're established by 500, which we are. Landing checklist is complete. Autopilot off. We are dropping below the glide slope. It's okay, we're just gonna maintain this.
cursors are not working there. There we go. We're just going to go to manual braking. Well, that arrival was okay. Realistically, I should have gone around. But, oh well. I really didn't want to deal with frames. Sad frames again. Flaps up. Spoilers are up. Before I forget, oh, we even turned the lights on. Nice. And to top it all off, I forgot to remove SoCal's LA, so that's why I have these like default taxi signs all over the place. Southbound now on Alpha Alpha. We're gonna take this all the way down to Charlie. Then it'll be a left on Charlie. We're supposed to be going to gate 41. So let's load up GSX and completely break frames. Gate 41 it is. We have what appears to be a bridge. I've actually never taxied over here. I didn't even realize this was... See, there's something with the terminal over there. I don't know what it is with this terminal. I think it's the Tom Bradley International Terminal. That just is AIDS. As soon as I look over here, it's fine. But if, if I look towards the Tom Bradley terminal, it's it's a disaster. APU is running. What was our landing rate? 181. I'll take that. Not bad for a horrific approach. I really apologize, LAX is so sad in terms of frames, but it's going to be a left here. You know it's bad when I can run Aerosoft Heathrow with 100 airplanes and have better performance than LAX with no traffic. And because I forgot to get rid of the, uh, the other LAX AFCAD that's in here, I have two LAX control towers, two of which are completely different heights and... wow. One of those isn't even close. It's fine, sir. Just leave your car there. It's fine. Just, yep, right there. Perfect spot to park your car. That can go off. Let's see how terribly I can park this airplane. This is probably going to be really sad. Brakes are set. That's off. Beacon off. Alright. Nothing like some shitty frames. Ah, look at these guys. 
Yep, this is a perfect way to pull the ULD up to the airplane. Yep, just drive through it. GSX at its finest. Nice. That's completely worth the $40 for this add-on. And skirt. Nice. Yep, worth every penny, mind you. All right, guys, that's going to do it for American 109, which service to Los Angeles from London Heathrow. I appreciate you joining me on both part one and part two. If you missed out on part one, there's going to be a video link somewhere in the video here where you can go and check out part one, my departure from London. If you enjoyed the format of a two-part video, please let me know. I will uh, continue doing them this way. If not, I'll go back to my old way of doing videos. Uh, but I like this one. It's actually a little bit easier for me. It's easier to get videos out. So hopefully you guys enjoy it and I can keep bringing you videos this way. Again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch one of my videos. If you enjoyed what you saw, make sure you like and subscribe so you never miss out on another video. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.